Hello everybody. In this video I will make a simple supercapacitor based on salt water. Uh, this supercapacitor is really easy to make at home and also the performance of this supercapacitor is also really really good. First of all we need to make an electrolyte. Uh, in this case I use uh, around 175 milliliters of water. Uh, I add my stir bar and I will use this table salt. And now I will turn the stirrer and I will add some table salt to the water. Okay, I think this will be enough. And now I will wait that that the entire salt will be dissolved in water. So in basic my electrolyte is ready. Here is some uh, salt water and now the electrodes. For the current collector I use stainless steel. Uh, for the active surface I use graffiti carbon foam. Uh, the separator is made from filter paper and this time I will also use some activated carbon. So I will uh, add activated carbon on the surface of each graffiti carbon foam. Uh, but if you don't have this graffiti carbon foam, uh, you can also use only uh, a mix of activated carbon and graphite together. Uh, put some glue into the mix and a little bit of water and you make a slurry and then you impregnate uh, the stainless steel. After you put this active material on stainless steel, uh, wait a little bit that the active material will be dry. Uh, when the active material will be dry, uh, you press a little bit to make better contact between active material and the current collector and your electrode is ready. But because you don't use this uh, graffiti carbon foam, you put the electrodes into the electrolyte and wait a little bit that uh, the electrolyte will soak into active material. So right now, like I said, I will put some active material, which is in my case uh, some mix of uh, activated carbon and graphite 10 to 1. Uh, I will impregnate the surface of this graffiti carbon felt. So I will not use everything what I have here. So I will put a full teaspoon of active material in another uh, beaker. I will add a little bit of the electrolyte. And I will mix everything together to get some pasta. So I get a pasta like material. If you want, you can also use some binder, uh, but or you do it like I do. If you make electrodes uh, with no graffiti carbon foam, then you need to use some binder uh, because you want that your active material will stick to the current collector.
So in this case, when you add your active material, uh, more active material you add, better will be the performance of the supercapacitor. Uh, you will get better power and also better uh, capacity. So basically I will not cover the entire uh, graphitic carbon. On this side I will not do anything. I will put this active material, material only on one side. So some of the material will soak into the structure. And okay, this one is ready. The another one. But for the electrolyte, you can also use some, I don't know, uh, just ordinary water if you want. Uh, or you can also use some uh, baking soda. Baking soda is uh, really good because, because in this case, uh, which I use sodium chloride, uh, you will form some uh, chlorine gas when the battery will be charged. So if you scare about uh, chlorine gas, uh, don't do this. Or you do this in very well uh, ventilated area. So right now I have uh, the active materials, uh, the current collectors, uh, the separator. Uh, right now I need to put everything together. Like I said, I have uh, one side of this graffiti carbon foam covered with this active material and this side will stick to the separator. You put the side where you have your active material uh, on the separator. So this one here, I don't have any active material. And the same you make with another electrode. So. And basic that cell is ready. I found that uh, if you make the cell like this and you add the electrolyte, the supercapacitor will not work uh, so good uh, like if you have the entire supercapacitor soaked in some electrolyte. So in basic the design is almost the same like by lead acid batteries. Because in lead acid batteries, the electrodes are floated in some case, fill it with some electrolyte. Okay, that's it for now. Actually, I can put a little bit more water that the entire cell will be covered in this solution. And now I need to connect I need to connect 
the super capacitor to, to my power supply. And now I will charge the supercapacitor with 3.2 uh, volts. A little bit bad contacts. Okay. Uh, but after time when you charge this uh, uh, you will see in water some yellow uh, yellow greenish color uh, this yellow greenish color is some chloride so uh, I will disconnect my power supply Let's see what will be the amps reading. Almost one amp. Whew. And now I will connect. So, finally. Okay. This is enough of charging. I will connect. It's my load. Oh, so you cannot see. So, actually, this uh, baking soda version of supercapacitor is not so strong like uh, salt water supercapacitor but this one is much much more safer so if you don't want to play with uh, uh, chlorine and so on uh, is this some alternative to make at home but like I said this one is not so strong like uh, like salt water version
and that's it. So guys, that's it for now and yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.